the Spanish Inquisition ship, a galleon, darker and bigger than the trading ships that are normally docked here. What's not yet clear to me is why it's been anchored here for the last few days. A fishing boat in rather poor condition. That's Pedro, our neighbour, a fisherman by trade. Hello. Hola. This Inquisition ship, so why is it berthed here? It can't be for anything good. Wherever these soldiers turn up, they only spread fear and terror. Yes, you can only hope to be spared their attentions. Don't worry. They're only looking for people who are on their list. If they were after you, you'd have received a visit by now. Any luck? Could be better. They're just too small. Further out, yes, there are some big ones, but here. Your rod, what's it made of? Willow, like any good fishing rod should be. Exactly what I need. There's no way I can lend it to you. I need it myself. If my boat wasn't broken, then perhaps, but otherwise... You're an inventor? Invent a fish-catching machine. I'd buy it immediately. Maybe later. Did you say your boat is broken? Yes, took a real battering in the last storm. Perhaps I can repair it. I'll take a look. Adios. Adios. Is that the plank for the boat? Yes, but I haven't found the right mixture for waterproofing it. Banks have been replaced, but the boat is still far from waterproof. I'll cut a few holes in the end of the hose. the hose I can pump the water a great deal further. The water squirts out of the holes at the end. Those will be the fibers that seal the boat together with the tar. I guess they're flax fibers. Push the fibers deep into the cracks. There is even some left over. Ramon, may I interrupt you for a moment? What is it, Fyodor? Here. That's the artifact that Tabit brought for you. Fantastic! Show me! Thank you. So, what is it actually? A piece of crystal. It belongs to something that's made up of lots of fragments like it. Well then, best of luck with your investigations. I could do with the tar now. Yes, yes, take it. Thanks. Don't you still need it for the mask? I'm going to do that later. I have to get on with this piece of crystal right now. Of course, the crystal fragment. I'll be off then. Mm.
Exactly. Right in the middle of the embers, and soon the heat will be increased a little bit. Now the forge can be heated up. The forge is hot enough. It was a fantastic idea to cover the stone figures with brass. They look really precious. Tabbit will be delighted. I'll take the hose with me. I've covered your figures with brass. Look at them now. They look like they're made of gold. Superb. Now I can really take, uh, ask a good price for them. Thank you, Fyodor. See you later. Yes. Till then, my boy. Uncle Tabbit? Yes, my boy? An Inquisition ship arrived here a few days ago. So what does that mean? That's what I wanted to ask you. Why does it cause you disquiet? I don't know. You hear so much about it. They drag people off in the night, extract false statements, torture, and murder people. And all in the name of the Church. But we needn't fear them. We're Christian believers, you from birth and me since the Reconquista over 20 years back. Christians, yes, but believers? I only believe in the laws of nature. That, my dear free spirit, had better remain between us two. About the camel leather. Take it with you. The money from the gold figures will no doubt pay for it. Thank you. I thank you. Here, take a silver coin and buy something nice for yourself. Maybe some flowers for your girlfriend? Uncle, thanks. See you later. Yes, till then, my boy. The tar and the fibers seal the planks perfectly.
Hello. Hola. The boat is mended and ready for action. Thank you, Fyodor. If you see Sylvia, then tell her I'll soon be bringing home some real fish. Yes, I'll do that. Do you still need your fishing rod? No. When I go out with the boat, I fish with a net. Do you want it? The willow would be really useful for me. Then take it. Here. Thanks. Adios. Adios.